Do you remember, it was about a month or two ago, Rand Paul grilled Dr. Fauci specifically over whether or not Dr. Fauci had funded or supported in any way gain of function research, period, but specifically in the Wuhan Institute of Virology where the coronavirus sprang from. Gain of function research is where you take naturally occurring viruses and beef them up, make them deadlier, make them more transmissible. Dr. Fauci says, absolutely not. Dr. Fauci, do you still support funding of the NIH funding of the lab in Wuhan? Senator Paul, with all due respect, you are entirely and completely incorrect that the NIH has not ever and does not now fund gain-of-function research in the Wuhan Institute Do they fund of Dr. Barrick? We do not fund... Do you fund gain, Dr. Barrick's gain-of-function research? D- Dr. Barrett does not do gain-of-function research, and if it is, it's according to the guidelines, and it is being conducted in North Carolina. Not you don't think inserting in a bat virus spike protein that he got from the Wuhan Institute into the SARS virus is gain of function? That is you would not be in the minority because at least 200 scientists have signed a statement from the Cambridge Working yeah. Group saying that it is gain of function. Well, it is not. And if you look at the grant and you look at the uh, progress reports, it is not gain of function. Now, you could tell Fauci's real nervous here. You could, fe- you could hear it because he messes up his grammar. He said, it is, does not, and it, if it, and he also has an error in logic here where he says, we are not funding gain of function research. And all the gain of function research we're funding is totally fine. You say, well, uh, hold on, which is it? <laughs> you're not, you're not funding it or, well, if, you know, look, and it, maybe, look, we're not doing it, but even if we were, it'd be in North Carolina. Well, there's a new report out from The Intercept that says that, that basically nothing in Fauci's statement was true. He lied through his teeth. They funded gain-of-function research. They funded it at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. I love blue blocks. Blue, one, not only because they make me look like Rachel Maddow, but because uh, blue blocks block the blue light that damages our eyes and that can lead to digital eye strain. Seriously, I I no longer, (laughs) in almost any circumstance, will look at a screen that's got blue light coming out all the time. It's, It's a real problem. It leads to a lot of eye strain, blurred vision, headaches, dry, watery eyes. Don't do it. This can cause anxiety, depression, low energy. I know it sounds crazy, but just just trust me. Try out blue blocks. They are evidence-backed. They're made under uh, optics laboratory conditions in Australia. They're created with high-quality lenses for daytime, nighttime, and color therapy. Exactly in line with the suggested peer-reviewed academic literature. They got over 40 frames, so if you don't want the mat out, you can get get another one, too. They come with a prescription. Uh, go to blueblocks.com slash Knowles right now. Use promo code Knowles at checkout. Get 20% off and enjoy free shipping on orders over 115 bucks. Get your energy back, sleep better, block out the unhealthy effects of blue light. Be just like me. Blue Blocks. B-L-U-B-L-O-X.com slash Knowles or click the link below. Make sure you use code Knowles to get 20% off your order. Free shipping on orders over 115 bucks. B-L-U-B-L-O-X.com slash Knowles for 20% off today. Rand Paul grills Dr. Fauci, puts him on the spot. He says, did you fund gain-of-function research? Never, no, not in the Wuhan Institute, not anywhere, maybe North Carolina, but really not anywhere. It didn't happen, no way, no, no how. The Intercept just filed a Freedom of Information Act request. It learned through the documents that were released that the NIH, National Institutes of Health, issued a bat coronavirus grant to a group called the EcoHealth Alliance. This was for $3.1 million. It included $599,000 that the Wuhan Institute of Virology used in part to identify and alter bat coronaviruses that were likely to infect humans. This is really bad for Dr. Fauci. In the words of, I mean, you don't need to take my word for it. Well, I'm, I'm not an epidemiologist, you know, I'm, I'm not an expert. But Dr. Richard Ebright, who is a molecular biologist at Rutgers, took a look at these documents. He said, quote, the documents make it clear 
that assertions by the NIH director, Francis Collins, and the NIAID director, Anthony Fauci, uh, that the NIH did not support gain of function research or potential pandemic pathogen enhancement at the Wuhan Institute of Virology are untruthful. So that was a very diplomatic way of saying Fauci lied. He lied about his role in starting the coronavirus epidemic, potentially. He lied about his role. And why did he lie? If the gain of function research going on, if identifying the transmissible bat coronaviruses at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, if that had nothing to do with the outbreak of COVID, then why would Fauci lie about it on national television at the U.S. Capitol before a a committee of the United States Senate? Why lie? Why try to cover it up? Seems pretty bad. 